everybody welcome back to my channel <coughs> pardon me this is Cindy Utter um, just a couple things I wanted to show you actually there's a few things I want to show you that I worked on um, while I wasn't doing videos but um, first of all this is a friend of mine's uh, she sent it to me and I have to tell you I'm just absolutely in love with this look at this isn't this cool now this is a jelly print that has been doodled on and I just think it's absolutely fascinating so um, I wanted to show you that and thank you my dear friend so um, this is really cool I love it alright now what I wanted to show you is this is a placemat that I picked up in I don't know some local junk store for 99 cents or something and I brought it home and I was like, you know, I really want to use this on my jelly plate. So I did. I had fun with it. Right now it's all beat up because I had it stuffed in a drawer. But I want to show you the results of this. Let me bring you in. Look at these prints. You see the circle on them? They're nothing spectacular, but I just wanted to show you. Um, this is some of the jelly printing that I've been doing. Um, just having fun using you know combs and old papers and this one I really love this is one that I use that mat on and I just think they're so pretty um, what am I gonna do with them who knows you never know they may get torn up they may be a background I don't know um, but I just wanted to flip through some of these this one I decided to use some really bright colors on and it's glossy it turned out really well see these paints cool but anyways, I just wanted to show you, um, these are some of my favorites. I don't um, normally make a lot of this type of a jelly print uh, because I, I, I like the more, I don't know, plainer or whatever. This has got metallic on it, see it? It's really, really pretty um, when you look at it. Again, just playing around this, I don't even know where that come from. Must have been something I did on my jelly plate. Here's another one. I love using stencils, just plain, you know, one stencil on a jelly plate. I think this turned out really pretty. Um, this is just some kind of pick up stuff. This is another stencil that I used. And I love these because I can just take a spot of it or I can use, you know, half a page or whatever and make really cool backgrounds. So. I just wanted to show you some of the ones that I've been playing with. This one's kind of neat. can't really see it up close, but see there's the stencil in there, which is kind of cool. Just the blue, um, playing around, playing around with some bottle top or something in here. Just, I, you know, I just wanted to show you these. These, like I said, these are some of my favorites. I really enjoy. I love the colors of them. This one I was playing around with, of course, one of those um, silicone mats that you can sit like hot pots and stuff on. I was just playing around with that. You know, this one's got the um, the hexagon or the bees. What do you call that? I can't think. <laughs> I can't think. Still getting over COVID, so I can't think. Um, just playing. Just having fun. But this is, you know, something I would spend some time doing, just playing around in my jelly plate and just enjoying. So those are just really quick, some of the good ones that I wanted to show you. Um, some of them, of course, look like crap, but, you know, that's normal. The other thing I've been doing, I got this paper. It's a mixed media paper. I got it on Amazon. It was like 500 sheets, and it wasn't very expensive. So I've been playing around with it. Oops, sorry. My camera is now hooked to my desk because of the way I got my room set up. So I apologize if you get any jiggling. Um, hopefully my my editing software will take care of a lot of that. So anyways, I've been taking these pieces of paper and for a while I started um, just, just gluing down scraps, right? And then what I plan to do with these is I plan to use some die cuts on them put them through the die cut machine. So these are the ones that just have scraps on them. I got so many scraps, it's crazy. And then I thought, hey, why don't we do this with fabric? 
So here's the fabric, which I think turned out really well. Um, I think they're really cool. Now these I'm also, I only did a few of these because I want to see how the die cut machine works with them. But these are just fabric scraps that I've got laying around and I thought, you know, let's see what we can cut out of these. So what I plan to do, and I will show you the results, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I will show you the results of using this paper in a die cut machine, which I'm going to do here in a little bit. So, but I thought these were really pretty and I just wanted to show them to you. Alright, so this is, you know, just a little bit of what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of weavings. Um, one of these days I'll get my camera over there. It's on the other table. Uh, set up over there and just show you some of the stuff I've been doing. But I've been having a lot of fun, honestly, with just glue and with just sitting here playing around with die cuts and playing around with... Um, I'm in a class called Fodder School fabulous class. Um, yeah, it's stuff we've all probably done before, but I'm learning a lot of new different techniques of ways of doing things and just having fun with it. So this is just a quick video. Um, I want to show you what I've been up to and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them below and we'll chat again. Bye.